Hey, I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks for joining us for this Adorama Pro video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about color correction and walking you through some workflows. Color correction is really important and it's becoming more and more prevalent. We used to shoot and light video perfectly and then not really have to color correct it unless we made a colossal mistake. But the truth is to get the exact right look and feel that you want, you should be color correcting everything. First of all, let's talk about LUTs. LUTs are lookup tables and you can put a LUT on a video to give it a look that you want or to simulate a look that you'd like to show a client while on set. It's not exactly going to be used as your final color correction, it's really just a parameter to be shown to the client that this is kind of what the look is going to be like. You can use it on set, especially if you have a monitor that can handle LUTs. Small HD does that, Atomos has some products that do that, and of course the Odyssey Q7 from Convergent Design does that as well. So this footage right now that we're shooting is shot flat. We're shooting it on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, which I really love. We actually use this camera for a national television commercial, and I think that we're gonna show you a clip from that right now. I'm Lindsay Van, and I'm fueled by bed gear. Sleep fuels everything. To start your video, you're gonna to wanna to shoot in some kind of flat format. It's gonna give you the most dynamic range and the most latitude when color correcting. You can do that with a slew of cameras, including GoPros. You can do it even with some iPhone apps on the iPhone. You can do it with obviously more robust cameras like the entire Blackmagic Cinema line. Of course, you can shoot C-Log in a lot of the Canon lineup, and a lot of other cameras out there will give you the ability to shoot flat video. They all call it something different, but ultimately it's flat video. And you can see how when our editors split the screen, they can show you color corrected, not color corrected, and the difference. One of the keys is to shoot video at a very high bit rate and a very high quality codec, like ProRes 422 HQ or 444, or my choice, raw video. You can shoot Cinema DNG on the Blackmagic cameras, you can shoot C-Log on the Canon cameras, and the list goes on and on and on. But the reality is if you shoot raw, you're gonna have the most latitude. It will be like a raw photograph, and you'll have the most control over the image. All right, so now you've got your flat video, whether you're shooting raw, ProRes, or whatever variation. Now doing color correction really helps you to tell the story and helps you paint your picture. You're literally painting the color that you want. The first thing is that you can color correct right in your post-production software, whether you're using Final Cut X, Premiere, even Final Cut 7, Avid, or Smoke. They all have color correction suites built right in, but most people use DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is one of the most robust color correction softwares available on the market. And a lot of people are getting introduced to it because it's available for free with some of the Blackmagic cameras. Import your footage into DaVinci. You're gonna make proxy files that will be ProRes files, and you'll put a LUT on them so that when your editor is editing, they get the idea of the style you're looking for, which will help them edit. Then the people who are creating your music will also be able to have the look and the feel of the project, and your client will be able to see what the project might look like. You create these proxy files and you export them from DaVinci. You also export at the same time an XML of your sequence in DaVinci. You open that XML up in your nonlinear editing system, whether it be Premiere, Final Cut, Avid, whatever it is, you import that XML. Your proxy files show up, you edit the proxy files as if that is your final edit. You then export those from your nonlinear editing system along with an XML and re-import into DaVinci. You then do your final color correction in DaVinci with each clip individually. Before you do your color correction, you pull off the LUT that you had put on before. You then color correct in DaVinci and make your final adjustments, and then you export your entire sequence as a 422 ProRes HQ movie or to some other codec. You bring it back into your nonlinear editing system, put all the graphics and effects on, and then you export that for your client in the highest quality possible. 
So that's how you color correct. It's not that hard a workflow. It's just a little bit more time consuming. It's something that makes your video look stunning. It will really help tell the story and get the image the way you want it to be. And your projects will be better for it. Just remember to build that additional time that it will take you to color correct the project into your workflow and for your client's expectations. I'm Michael Arsis. This has been an Adorama Pro Video tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and check out some more on Adorama.com.